Hi everybody and welcome to Corel Painter 2018. In this video I'm going to be demonstrating to you how to use texture synthesis and how that I find it useful. A lot of times when going out on a walk or even finding something in my painting there's usually that small thing that you kind of wish you could capture as a texture. Well now it's really easy to do that especially within a brush stroke and what I'm going to be doing is showing you the texture that I liked within this photo here was really down here. I want to be able to paint with this, um, this kind of nature um, chaos kind of thing. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rectangularly select that. And if you don't already have this texture synthesis window open, it's under Window and Media Control Panels and the Synthesis button right there. And that will open this up. I did play around with this a little bit. Um, I was playing with this, but I'm going to go ahead and go on random seed, and that will that will make sure that it's nice and uh, uneven, and it's not just a mechanical thing. I prefer that on, and I'm going to go ahead and capture this from the document. Now, I'm going to show you first how to do this on a new layer so that you can see this as a texture, and then I will show it to you once it's yes exported to the texture library so let's go ahead and press play on this and I have my width to a thousand by a thousand pixels because that's about roughly what this canvas is so let's go ahead and hit play and as you can see it's taking that little bit of the nature that I wanted and it's making a texture off of it that I can capture in a brush stroke and I'll show you how I do that here in just a moment so there we go. That's what it's going to look like as a texture. And you can save this at, you know, so, so you can use it in different things or maybe an overlay file or something like that. But let's go ahead and save that again to the texture library here. And I'm going to capture it from the document. Now it's going to send that on over. We'll see it when it's done here. So now let me go ahead and rename this texture as oh, moss. I don't need to call it a texture because it will already be in the texture library. And now I'm going to use one of my texture brushes, one that I happen to pick out ahead of time. And let's go ahead and go over to a new canvas. And I, I'm making sure I have that texture selected in here, moss. And let's try painting with it. I just captured this texture from that picture using texture synthesis. And you can do this with all sorts of things. You can do it with buildings. Maybe there's a small section of a painting that you like and you want to capture in a brush stroke. So now, if I was to draw something, It's going to carry that texture over into my work. So if you happen to be working on a robot and you needed a texture of some kind of metal, now you can paint with that in a very organic way. You can capture that in your texture brushes. And of course, as you know, there are lots of different ways that you can express that texture. Um, but that is how you use the texture synthesis and what that it is quite useful for. You can capture your source from not only the document, but from also another texture the same way. So if I turn that on, I can say, hmm, I like this texture, but I'm going to create, I like this part of it. So I'm going to create a new one off of that. But for the most part, I'm going to find document useful because that's what I really want to capture off of. And that it on how to use the, ten the texture synthesis and I'm really excited to see what people make. Thank you for watching and I will see you around.